Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the feature of generating native libraries from a Kony app using Visualizer. Kony Visualizer 8.3 allows you to build a native library for an app that is created in Kony Visualizer. Once you generate the library, you can embed the native library in your native OS application. Let's consider that you have a native iOS or Android application in which you want to implement a functionality for user feedback. At the same time, you find out a Kony Visualizer app which enables user feedback functionality. With the native library feature, you can generate native libraries for both iOS and Android from the Kony app and embed the same into your existing native app. The embedded library operates just as any other screen on your native app. Along with embedding the native library, you can also establish communication between the native app and the generated libraries using communication APIs and some application APIs of Visualizer. With these, you can send information to the native library from the native app before the native library is launched. Also, you can send information from the native library to the native app before the native library exits. We are going to see all these things in action in a short while. The app we have used for demonstration is a simple inventory management Android app. This app can be found in GitHub link provided in the description section. The app simply shows a list of products along with its price and available stock. Another screen on the app enables users to add new products into the inventory. We have prepared a Kony app with ability to scan barcodes. Using the native library feature, this Kony app is embedded into the native app and enables adding products to the inventory by scanning the product name or ID instead of typing it manually. Now let's start with the demonstration by first taking a look at the Kony app. This screen shows the visualizer project for the barcode scanner Kony app. As you can see, in the main form of the application, we have used the barcode scanner component from Kony Marketplace. As per the requirement, we want this Kony app to scan the product and send the scanned information back to the native app. For that, let's explore one of the APIs of the component called Afterscan. In this API, we have added code to send the scanned information back to the native app using a Visualizer application API. Similarly, we have used another Visualizer application API called Exit Library to go back to the native app once the scanning is done. These two lines of code ensure that the flow between the native app and the native library is complete. Now let's get into generating the native library. For generating the native library, go to the product menu and select build option. In the build generation dialog box, select Android native as the channel and check the generate native library option. In case you want to generate native library for iOS platform, you have to select iOS native as the channel and check the generate native library option. Now click on build to start the process of native library generation. Once the native libraries are generated, these files can be found in the location as shown on the screen. You have to copy these files and paste them into an appropriate folder in your native Android project. Now let's jump into setting up the Android application to consume the native library we just generated. This process includes three steps. Copying the generated native library into the project, setting Gradle dependencies in the project, and code modifications in the required files to invoke the native library. As the first step, go to the Android Studio project and open the containing folder. Inside app folder, paste the AAR files generated using Visualizer into libs folder. If the libs folder does not exist, create the folder and paste the items into it. Next, come back to the Android Studio project to set the Gradle dependencies. Open the build.gradle file from the root folder in the project navigator. In the all projects section, after jcenter, add the indicated code snippet. The highlighted code snippet indicates that the libs folder we just created is the repository for the AAR files. This code snippet can be found at the Kony documentation link provided in the description section. 
After that, expand the apps folder in the project navigator and open the build.gradle file inside it. Before the dependencies section, add the indicated code snippet. This segment adds the AAR files as dependencies into the app module. This code snippet can be found in the Kony documentation link provided in the description section. The next set of dependencies need to be taken from the build.gradle file in the Kony Visualizer project. The AAR files we generated have their dependencies set in their own build.gradle file, but the Android project only resolves dependencies from the Gradle file present in the app module. Hence, we need to copy the dependencies from the former file to the later one. Go to the Kony Visualizer build file for the Kony app and navigate to the build.gradle file as shown in the video. Open the build.gradle file in a plain text editor and copy the content inside the dependencies section. Go back to the Android Studio project and open the build.gradle file from within the apps folder. Paste the copied items by appending onto the existing content in the dependencies section. You might have to resolve a few conflicts here by deleting the repeated items if any. Additionally, you might have to alter the compiled SDK version and the target SDK version to match the latest one in the gradle file. After all the changes are done, Sync the project to validate all the changes made to the Gradle file. Now let's move to the modifications made to the native project in order to invoke the native library. First, there is a button added to the details screen of the app to start the scan activity. Open the activitydetail.xml file under the layouts folder. As you can see, the button is added to the top right part of the screen and a method called scan barcode is set for the onclick event of the button. Let's move on to the detail activity.java file where the native library invocation happens. In the detail activity.java file, the Kony library is first initialized where the callback methods are also set. This initialization happens inside the onCreate method of the class. The scan barcode method which is set as the onclick action for the newly added button in the layout contains the code to invoke the native library. You can also observe the callback implementation which sets the scanned barcode against the product name field. Finally, build the application to see the implementation in action. The landing screen of the application contains the list of existing items in the inventory. Tapping the add button shows the detail page. Tap on the scan button to invoke the native library and start the scanning activity. Once the scan is done, the control is moved back to the native app and the product name is populated with the scan data. Fill in the other information to add the product into the inventory and observe the entry in the landing page. You can find the modified Android app and the Kony app in GitHub at github.com slash Kony. Find out more about the native library feature from the Kony documentation site. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you.